find the values of a that would make this vector field a conservative vector field. Let's recall that for any vector field where the components are themselves functions of x and y, if the vector field is conservative, then the first partial of p with respect to y will be equal to the first partial of q with respect to x. Let's rewrite this vector field using pointy bracket notation just to clean it up a bit. This first component is our p function, the second component is our q function, and let's begin by calculating the first partial of p with respect to y. With respect to y, all of this is a constant, and we have essentially a constant multiple of y, so that first partial would just be ax. The first partial of q with respect to x treats this part as a constant, and the derivative of 4x squared with respect to x is 8x. And when we set these two first partials equal to each other, we get a conservative vector field when the value of a is 8. So let's complete part a by rewriting the conservative vector field, which is now 4x squared plus 8xy in the direction of i, and 3y squared plus 4x squared in the direction of j. In part b, we're looking for the potential function, which is a scalar function, that has this conservative vector field as its gradient vector field. In other words, we're looking for the scalar function f at x, y, such that its gradient vector field is the same as our vector field that we just found. Once we have that potential function, remember its gradient will be determined by the first partial with respect to x, first partial with respect to y, and we already know that that needs to turn out to be 4x squared plus 8xy and 3y squared plus 4x squared. So we're looking for a scalar function whose first partial with respect to x is going to be 4x squared plus 8xy and whose first partial with respect to y is 3y squared plus 4x squared. And we begin by integrating this first partial with respect to x and integrating this first partial with respect to y. The integral of 4x squared with respect to x is 4x cubed over 3. The integral of 8xy with respect to x is the constant multiple 8y times x squared over 2. We do need to consider the possibility that there's a constant, but for that potential function, taking the first partial with respect to x, even a function of y would have been considered a constant, so we hold space for the possibility that we could have had a function of y and that would still have given us this first partial with respect to x. Now let's evaluate this other integral with respect to y. 3y squared, the antiderivative with respect to y is going to be 3y cubed over 3, which we'll simplify to just y cubed, plus the antiderivative of 4x squared with respect to y is going to be 4x squared times y. And again, we could have had some function of x that would have been treated as a constant when we take the first partial of that potential function with respect to y. So now let's put these two criteria together to come up with a potential function for the vector field. Notice that both of these criteria have the term 4x squared y. So 4x squared y does need to be part of that potential function. In the leftmost criteria, we see we could have a function that is completely in terms of y, which would be held constant if we differentiated with respect to x, but notice we have a term entirely in terms of y in the second criteria, so we can pick that up in our potential function. Additionally, we need this 4 thirds x squared term, and we're also allowed to have a term entirely in terms of x from this second criteria, so we pick that up to satisfy this first criteria, and that is held constant when we differentiate with respect to y. And so this is a potential function for that conservative vector field.